delicious fresh spring water from the oceans of Ganymede. Hey guys, how you doing? David Geisler here. This is the Technophiles Newscast, and NASA has announced water on Jupiter's largest moon. Ganymede! Ganymede is not only the largest moon in our solar system, it's also the only moon with its own magnetic field. So back in the 70s, scientists actually thought that there might be water on this moon, but in 2002, the Galileo mission actually scanned the planet. Back then, they decided that they could use the data from the magnetic field to deduce if there was water on the moon or not. Now, ultimately, it ended up being inconclusive because they could only record in 20 minute intervals, but at least it didn't disprove water. So now somewhat recently, NASA realized that they could observe the magnetic fields of Ganymede in a whole new way. They realized that they could use the Hubble telescope to observe the UV rays coming off the auroras of the moon, which directly relate to the magnetic field. And what's cool is the Hubble Space Telescope is the only tool that we really have that could do this because it's, of course, outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Jupiter and Ganymede are very, very close to each other. And when the scientists looked at Ganymede, they actually noticed that the auroras were being affected by Jupiter. Now, they had kind of guessed this might be the case, but what they noticed is that the auroras on Ganymede were being affected by Jupiter much less than they predicted. NASA believes that this reduced fluctuation is because of a massive saltwater ocean underneath the surface. This ocean is estimated to be 60 miles deep, which is 10 times deeper than any ocean on Earth. Furthermore, they're estimating that this ocean is under a 95 mile thick crust of mostly ice. 95 mile crust? That's more crust than water. Wait a second now. And when they took a closer look at the surface of the crust, they actually noticed that some areas appeared to be uh, younger or fresher than other areas, and they're thinking that it's actually from water that boiled up through the crust in the moon's past. So this is all pretty cool, but I need to point out that NASA has actually officially said that this data doesn't only just suggest that there might be an ocean, it also proves that there isn't not one. Ganymede! So with Ganymede and Europa both looking like they have water, both NASA and the European Space Agency are planning to send out probes. In 2020, NASA is planning on sending a probe to Europa, and in 2022, the European Space Agency is planning on sending a probe to Ganymede and Jupiter. This probe is going to be called the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, or JUICE. See what they did there? Pretty exciting. That's actually not too far away. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, Jupiter's moons should be our next stop after trying to get to Mars? Kind of not joking. Let me know down in the comments, or you can tweet us at Technophiles Pod, or find us on Facebook by searching Technophiles. Of course, you can always go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. And that's it. Have a good weekend, everybody. I see you drinking that fancy water. You know, they tell you it comes from the Springs of Ganymede, but we know it's tap. We know it's not true. It comes from Europa. But it costs so much money to get this water imported. I gave up buying an Apple Watch edition for this. We'll <laughs>